Three fun facts, asteroid, go. Uh, 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 I'm a spider. You're a spider, we all knew that. Yes, Good. yes, I, I breathe on a daily basis. Wow, that's a fun fact. We didn't know that. Dude, oh, that's no, doing nothing. very fun, very fun. And also, I have a dead body in my closet. What? <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one, go! go. That was perfect. There we go, baby! Let's go! Slap my ass and call me Teresa! Let's get started! <laughs> Teresa? Yeah, baby, that's Out of my all new the name! Names you could have chosen, you go with Teresa. What is up, guys? My name is oh, Teresa! No, 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 no. And welcome back to the next episode of our Fire Red and Leaf Green Randomized Soul Link Nuzlocke with my boy! The Asteroid! That is the first time you've done a Soul Link intro in like months. I know it felt really good too! Anyways, guys, really welcome good. back. My name is Original151. How are you guys doing? Welcome <laughs> to Soul Link. Today we're gonna be My going name in. is Asteroid and Teresa. I have two names, dual names. But yeah, oh we're God. back. We're here for episode four of the Soul Link. Is we're it over though? on Asteroid's channel. It's Saturday. The weekend is here. The good vibes are flowing. How you doing, Asteroid? I'm doing great, man. It is on my channel, episode four. You Hell know, yeah. I'm really happy that I got the even numbers. It, it just really, really works with my OCD. Also, fun fact, if you go to the playlist on uh, the channels, like each other's channels, if you look at the thumbnails, you guys know how we alternate with between green and red. On my channel, it looks normal with red, green, red, green. Ah, uh, yeah. On and Vinny's, on my channel, because we got he two greens in a row, right? What? We got two greens in a row on my channel, right? Then it alternates? Yeah, because you had the first episode on your channel, so you got... You got gypped there. I would have been so mad. If Listen, I have me. really bad OCD. For some reason, that does not bother me at all. It's very weird. You see, it's only very specific things that bother me. Yeah, like certain like things stuff. provoke me and certain things don't, you know? Guess you're just a, you're a picky ocd -er. Yep, absolutely. I mean, I don't control it. It just kind of happens. But I'll tell you what. We're going to get started with a very quick team recap to get everybody up to speed on what this powerful squad is looking like. And then we're going to go talk to Bill. And then we're going to battle Misty, and this is going to be an amazing Saturday episode. And again, I hope you guys are having an amazing weekend. Would you like by to the start? Way, yeah, I would love to start. But by the way, this is going to be a nice and powerful 30 minutes of power. You guys yes. know we've been doing hour-long episodes for like the entire series now, but we're going to start going back to around 30 minutes because as powerful as those hour-long episodes are, it's just, it's just 30 minutes is more manageable. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Plus, you know, I know a lot of people like the Hour of Powers. A lot of people, though, also like the shorter episodes because there, you know, there's some times where a new episode goes up and someone might not have a full hour to sit down and watch the videos. So 30 yeah. minutes is definitely like a happy medium. But that's not to say that we're never going to do Hour of Powers again. They're going to happen. Yeah, no, definitely. They're going to happen. But today, we thought it would be best to do a nice 30 to 35 minute episode. Get the, get the gears flowing. Get the gears grinding. Get what does that mean? I don't know. Running. I'm just saying phrases at this point. But I'm so happy to be back and to be recording with this man. I am. Dude, how, when was the last time we recorded? Like Wednesday? The last time we recorded was... Well, the episode went up on Thursday. Was it Wednesday? I think it was Wednesday. Yeah, I think it was Wednesday at like 10, 10 o'clock. It was a late one. And now it's like mid... Well, it's midday for you. For me, it's kind of getting towards nighttime. It's 5.29 p.m. for me, breaking the fourth wall, as I always love to do. But you know what? Since this is definitely going to be a shorter episode, we probably shouldn't do our typical Frank and Vinny shoot the shit for 20 minutes before we get started <laughs> type deal. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, how about we uh, shorten the intro a little bit and not, not have an eight-minute intro? Yeah, that might be best. That might be best. But one quick thing that I do want to say as I prolong the intro even more. <laughs> Seriously, guys. Thank you so, so Thank you. much. Thank you, honestly. Literally, like, we were talking about this before we started. We are blown away by the support on this series. Like, it has been monumental how Crazy. incredible you guys Absurd. have been. Like, you guys are always incredible. But with this series in particular, I've never seen anything like it for me. Like, it's, it's crazy. Thank you guys so much. Thank you for hitting the like button. Thank you for dropping comments. Thank you for subscribing to both of us. You guys are the best. Like yeah, we say, both we both hit huge milestones. You had 28k, I had 6k. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. And I say it all the time. We have the best community of people across the board on both channels. Heck you yeah. guys are incredible. Let's begin with a quick team recap. I will start off with Boy, you I can start off though. You want to start off? You can start off. I mean, I was told I could, so I'm I'm I feel entitled now. Ladies first. <laughs> Boy. Anyway. <laughs> 
We have the B, Joe Bug, and a Poison typing with a docile nature. Taco, you guys already know him with immunity. And Fury Attack, Focus Energy, Twin Needle, and Nature Power. He's a good guy. Taco's a good fucking guy. Over yeah, he's on my very hard. Screen, he's very hard. Link, yeah, he's very hard. Giggity. Linked with the hard taco, we have the soft taco, a.k.a. Burrito. The, the soft Cold taco nature. is the burrito. <laughs> Executor, Grass and Psychic type with the trace ability and the moves Barrage, Hypnosis, which is so nice for catching wild Pokemon, by the way. Confusion and Stomp. Over on my side of the field with our starter, we have my boy, Navi level 28 <laughs> with Magma Armor, Leech Seed, Confusion Recover, and Ancient Power. And linked with Navi, aka Asteroids Boy, we have <laughs> my boy, War Tittle, show me your tits! <laughs> at level 26, with the forecast ability, and the moves Swift, Bite, Water Gun, and the very powerful Solar Beam. Dude, it's been too long since I've heard your, uh, or I've heard your signature catchphrase, show me your tits. I just love how that has become the phrase for this series, hashtag, <laughs> show me your tits! It's, it's and I so thought it was random, so too. funny. Yo, like, you guys had me dying in the comments from the previous episode because the ongoing joke in the previous episode was obviously, oh, well, my name's Octillery and I beat my wife. <laughs> and then everyone was leaving comments like, my name is so-and-so and I. <laughs> my entire stream last night was filled with just, my name is, insert name here. <laughs> Dude, it had me dying. Like, you guys are legitimately hilarious. I love when we make a meme. And the, or at least implement a meme that somebody else has made because I can't take credit for that because I found a girl on a Twitter video doing that. I don't know your name, but shout out to you. You're hilarious. When we implement a meme and then our people take the meme and they run with it. It's fantastic. Yeah, it's just like the, the pickle video from a few episodes ago. Yeah, you guys blew that kid's comment section up too, by the way. Thank you for that. That was yo, amazing. Yo, I don't know if I've said this on, on uh, the Soul Link yet, but that kid, the pickle guy, actually went in my stream <laughs> the other day and we, I was talking to him. That's amazing. He showed up in stream and he was like, are you the asteroid that spammed my comment section? And I was like, yeah. That's amazing. That, that's me. That's me. Hi. Yo, we still have yet to do that though. Maybe like like separately from the Soul Link episodes, we should do like a little collab video where we both stare at a pickle. <laughs> we I, should. I think that, let me know in the comments. Do you guys want to see who can stare at a pickle longer, me or asteroid? Let me know in the comments below. Do hashtag pickle pickle if you want to <laughs> see that. <laughs> Could you imagine if it's like a 40-hour like a video? Dude. Of us just staring at pickles. Dude, like, me and you just break, our anatomy just doesn't work, and we just end up staring without blinking for four days <laughs> on end. Like, I don't even know if that's possible. Yo, look, it's me! Wait, what, what What? are you, the Parasect? Yo, I am literally a Parasect. Like, look. I thought you were a Sphiel. I am a Sphiel. So I'm you're, like, you're like a Teresa. Pokemon fusion. I'm a Parasect Sphiel Teresa. That's what I am. <laughs> Fun fact, Angela's sister's name is Teresa, so... Shout out to you, Teresa. Hope you're doing. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a great day. Hi, Teresa. How you doing? There's no way Teresa's watching this, but if she happens to stumble across this in her uh, in her YouTube feed, how you doing, Teresa? How are you? Wait, she's not even subscribed to you. She probably is not subscribed to me. Wow. I'm lucky that my own girlfriend is subscribed to me. That's saying something. <laughs> Angela just does not like Pokemon, but she did enjoy the vlogs, and she did, well, the one vlog that I've uploaded, she enjoyed that, and she loves hanging out in the streams, so that's good. Oh, by the way, when's your next vlog? My next vlog, well, this is going up on Saturday. My yeah. next vlog should be up earlier next week. Earlier next week. My goal is to do, like, two to three vlogs per week, because I'm having so much fun making them, I really am, and I just really want to keep doing it, you know what I mean? It really is, like, an addicting thing. Yeah, no, honestly, the first vlog was so entertaining. Like, real Thank talk. Thank you so much. Thank you so real much, Real talk. Man. Especially yeah. because I was in it. That was the best part. Oh, yeah, that was fantastic. I love yeah. that little segment where I kept calling you. And then he was like, <laughs> hello. <laughs> Hi, vlog. <laughs> and for those of you that have no idea what we're talking about, I started vlogging last week. And if you guys want to go check that out, it's over on my channel. It's called My First Vlog. And the thumbnail is me and my dog being really cute and whatnot. <clears throat> very adorable, <gasps> very adorable. Wait, had to clear did, you, did you just bark like your dog? I, I had no, I had to clear my throat. I did the soul link. <gasps> I had to clear my throat a little bit. Why? Why yeah. has that become like a soul? Like, it's so you random. actually. I gotta give full credit to you on that one. You're the one that did the first walrus cry. It was fantastic. I, I feel like the walrus cry was different though. Like that, that wasn't like a huh. That was like a huh. Well, you know it started. It started a little bit less severe. Like it was like a like when you first did it. It was a huh. And then, like, as we started to do it, it got progressively more intense, and now it's literally... 
And now, and now just, it's like, now it's like, my name is Teresa, and I like to spank Vinny's ass. <gasps> yeah, exactly. It's exactly how I feel. Well, I'm Teresa, and I'm spanking my own ass. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Forgot about that. I've said that before on multiple occasions. It's just, it's, not, it's a nice phrase. Like, for example, I want you to say, "Hi, my name is." Do a girl's name, and then say, "Wait, what, what, what's the phrase?" I already forgot what I said. My name's Teresa. No, it's slap my ass and call me blank. That's the phrase. So <laughs> wait, what? That's the phrase. Oh, it feels so like good to slap say. my ass and then and then insert the so name I, here. So like for example, I want you to say slap my ass and call me blank. Pick a name, any female <laughs> name. Go for it. Slap my ass and call me Vinny. I'm the boy. <laughs> this man, those are fighting words. Boy, that's revenge for earlier. For some reason, I thought you were gonna say Karen. I have no idea why. Like I thought you were gonna say slap my ass and call me Karen. You just had a feeling when it comes to Karen. I just had a feeling. I just feel like Karen would be the name that you would go to. In this scenario, what are we even talking Yo, about? Yo, you know what? You know what? Put a comment down below if your name is Karen. Oh, that hurts. That hurts. Okay. Yeah, if your name is Karen, let us know because you are awesome and we love you. You are my favorite person in the comment section. Yo, I want everyone watching this to do their own version of that. So if you're watching, I want you to leave a comment saying, Slap my ass and call me Tiffany. Slap my ass and call <laughs> me Brittany. Slap my ass and call me uh, Jessica. Dude, Just this go comment down section the list. is going to be wild. This comment section is, yo, I hope you guys come through and do this because it's gonna be so, can you imagine like if someone that's never watched our videos before comes over to this video <laughs> and sees the comments that just says slap my ass and call me Tiff, slap my <laughs> ass and call me Jen. <laughs> like what did these people say that triggered this? Oh my god. Oh, it's, this is what I love about our soul links though in particular, like nobody It's so goes random. Off. <gasps> my dog! So goes. My dog! Gross! There it's he is! It's so random, man. Everything we say is just... Out, out, of, out of this world. But honestly, like, I like the randomness. I really do. It's fantastic. You know, I love it. It's amazing. Operator Scarlet would like to battle. She's gonna send out a Gligar. Gligar. Wait, wait, wait. How many Pokemon cries can you do? What do you mean, how many cries can I do? Like, anime cries. How many Pokemon can you impersonate? Uh, I don't know. I actually feel like I would be pretty good at a, at a good amount of them. Because literally the only one I can do somewhat well is Gliscor. Let me hear it. <clears throat> Glide score! Glide! Glide! That it's, was it's, the most beautiful thing I've ever heard in my life. It's, it's still garbage, but... You know. No, dude, like, that was the opposite of garbage. That was, like, fantastic. Have you even seen the Gen 4 anime with Ash's Glide score? Probably not, but you know what? I get. I bet you it sounds exactly like you just did. I mean, it sounds pretty similar. I'm not I'm not too good, but I'm... I'm I mean, you're not a Glide score master. Let's I'm not, not... Let's not go crazy. You know, I, I wouldn't say that I am a Glide score, but... <laughs> I mean, I you wouldn't know. say I was a glide score to past life or anything. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I'm just a girl. I'm just a girl named Teresa that slaps her own ass. That's, that's all I. Am. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <sighs> uh, I'm just realizing though. I said that I would slap my own ass, but I told someone slap my ass and call me <gasps> Teresa. So does that mean that somebody else is slapped? Fluffy's on the screen. I'm gonna cry, man. Honestly, I miss her too. I really do. I'm so sad. I'm so sad. I, I had really to kill her twice. Her. Or no, I, I I killed her the the second time. You killed her the first time. Oh my god! Oh my god! What? Type in the comments! What? Type in the comments! What? Here he comes! What? Here he comes! You'll see! You'll see momentarily! <gasps> my car go fast! My car goes fast, baby! And this is apparently how I steer my car, but yeah! Oh my <laughs> god, it's fantastic. Look at this man. It's amazing. Yo, I hope I catch him a cargo at some point in this series. What? I really do. What type of car do you think Macargo drives? A like, Nissan. Like, serious question. A Nissan. Are you sure? Yeah. I don't know why. That was just the first car brand that popped into my noggin. I feel like he would drive, like... I don't know. Do you would be really cool? I feel like he has his own version of the Invisible Boatmobile. And Yo. the reason why I say that is because it'd be really funny to, like, not be able to tell whether he's in his car or not. Like, he's just kind of floating there with his little slug body. Well, no, no, it would be, like, a really, really small car. Like, one that, like, when he sits on the floor, you wouldn't know if he's in the car or not. So, so basically, he has an invisible Fiat. Well, yeah, so basically, like, if he's going super fast, it would just look like a McCargo going standing fast across the street. But if he was in the car, he would still be elevated, so it would look like he has the levitate ability. No, you know no, 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 it would be a really tiny car that would kind of, like, sink around his lava. But, like, okay. wouldn't get destroyed. I see you, big dog. It's so like I when you, you when you saw it on the street, you wouldn't know he was in the car until he like took off at a red light. I you know oh my god, Articuno! I fucked up. Don't make the same mistake that I made, my son. When you're about to battle this person, walk in front of them a few steps so they follow you, and then you can go get the randomized item. 
Oh, okay. I messed up. I, I have to wait now until I get cut to get the item. No, not again. What happened? Oh my god, what is with the Ampharosis and the Fluffies in this episode, man? It's wild. I, I gotta go back on? and heal, though, because uh, my, my boy is burned. I've noticed lately, like, I have this annoying tendency, like, throughout my episodes, like, I will say something, like, for example, like, slap my ass and call me Teresa, and then, like, I'll let it marinate in my brain for, like, 20 minutes, and then I'll think about what I said, and I'm like, you know what, let's clarify that. There's nothing to clarify! My name's Teresa, I slap my ass, and sometimes people slap my ass! You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You, you do that all the time, though. Like It's so at, annoying. like, after the episode, you're looking back and you're like, Did I it's explain so that right? And it's I'll so be annoying. like, yeah, you explained it right. Because the reason, the reason why this is stressing me out now is because I said, leave a comment where you're going to slap your own ass. But by saying slap my ass and call me blank, doesn't that mean somebody else would be slapping your ass? And again, this is something <laughs> that nobody would think of but me, but I'm a crazy individual with really bad over-analytical problems! Hi, Suicune! Hi, Suicune! How you doing? How's the kids? <laughs> Asteroid's like, I don't want to hear about your bullshit right now. <laughs> I really don't give a fuck, Vinny. <laughs> oh my god, yo, look at this Vigoroth, though. He's like... He's like, sup, guys? Going like, to the football game tonight? He's like, yo, guys, you're going to be at the football game? I'm going to bring a lot of popcorn. We're going to have some good times. Yo, it's been a net. Been a net. Been a net. See, like, Do you remember wish... the one episode with Koga? And Ash, Ash fighting Koga in the original series? Oh. Uh... I remember, dude, I remember having that, that episode on VHS. Really? I had, like, three or four episodes of the Pokemon anime on VHS that I would, I would always rewatch them over and over again. One of the episodes was The Great Race. You remember that episode? The Great Race. Where they race on like Onyx and then Rapidash and... Yeah. Do you yeah. remember that? I think I... I really do think I know what you're talking about. And then I had... What was it? I had the one episode with Koga and Veteranat. And the okay, one where okay. Psyduck has the headache and then like... He... That was like the first time uh, they saw his second powers with his headache. Oh yeah, he like, he like unleashed, right? And he yeah. He like, was so powerful. Oh my god, good that. times, good times. My personal, like, fondest memory from the anime, I think I've actually talked about this in a previous Soul Link episode, is the episode where Ash is, uh, they, they get, like, trapped with the, uh, how do I explain this from the top? They get trapped underground with the fossil Pokemon, and then Aerodactyl wakes oh, up. Oh, yeah, the Charmeleon and evolves. Then, yeah, and then Charmeleon, like, gets so mad. He, he's not mad that Ash gets taken by the Aerodactyl. But yet he gets mad that he can't fly to get the Aerodactyl, so his anger causes him to evolve. <laughs> and he's like, char, 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 me! And then you hear the, de, 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 de. Dude, that episode is so good. Oh, it's so good. And then that's the first time we see Charizard. And I, I was a little kid just watching that, like, oh, this is the greatest day of my life. <laughs> so amazing. Do you know what's another one of the episodes I had on VHS that I would, um, I'd watch over and over again? It was the one, it was the one with the Onyx and Bruno. Do you remember that episode? And there was like the Onyx one really Bruno. pissed off Onyx. I don't. Well, basically there was like this one Onyx that was going rogue, right? Okay. And then I remember the gang had to like stop the Onyx with like the water type <laughs> the Pokemon. What? The gang. The gang, the squad, you know what I'm saying? It's amazing. And I, I don't know, it just, it's very fond because I also remember that because of that episode, my younger brother's favorite Pokemon was Onyx. Wow. Remember the Crystal Onyx episode? That was a good one. Yeah, that was a good one too. Is, is that the same episode? No. No, I, I don't think so. I mean, I know the one, the one that I, I, I'm talking about has, uh, has a lot of Onyx. I don't think that's, I don't think that's the Crystal Onyx though. A lot of Onyx. A lot of Onyx. Time. A lot of onyx. Now, how far are you till we get to Bill's house? It's I'm like here. right here. We're learning future okay. sight, though. That's a good uh, move. I would teach that, honestly. Hang on. What? What is? I forgot what future sight does. You use it, and then in I think two turns, it hits the foe. Okay. Um. And you could do it strategically. Like you could send in Navi, go for the future sight, then pull out of there, giggity, and then go out to another Pokemon, and then you'll hit them. The turn where you hit them with the move, and then you'll hit them with the future sight as well. I mean, what should I get rid of, though? Recover? Uh... I mean, w from your experience so far, has Recover really come in handy? Because we're at a part in the game now where we're gonna have a lot of money. We're gonna be able to buy potions. Yeah, Le Leech Seed has always been more useful to me. Yeah, I would personally get rid of Recover. I think that's I think that's a smarter move. I think the only way I've used it is just to stall out Leech Seed. Yeah. So... Yeah, definitely. Alright, I think, right, I think we're good. Like, <clears throat> Future Sight's definitely gonna come in handy. Yo, I love Sandshrew. Such a cool Pokemon. 
So what? Which do you prefer though, Sanshu or Alolan Sanshu? Uh, I gotta go with the original. You know me, I'm not. I'm not too crazy about Gen Seven. I I, I gotta go with the original. Boy, you gotta you gotta play it. Honestly, you have to play it. Dude, I don't was don't so... even let's play. Just play. Oh, hi, Rayquaza. Oh, how are the kids, boy? How's the family? Yo, I love how his claws are like ready to go. Like he is literally ready to go. One of the he's best ready... sprites in the game. He's ready to hit the salon and get his nails did. Oh, now he's dead. Never mind. <laughs> Sorry, no, no Manny, no Manny and Petty for you today. Sorry, right, we gotta Rayquaza? cancel your appointment. Yeah, you better cancel your appointment, boy. Oh, Voltorb is Sandstream. Mm. Voltorb's cool. People like really don't like Voltorb and Electro. They're like, it's just a Pokeball. Then they were very Pokeball. Like, I think they're cool. Yeah, I mean, I think they're, I think they're interesting. They're not my favorite Pokemon. Yeah, I wouldn't put them in my top 37, but they're up there somewhere. 37? So you, you mean they're 38? Yeah, I have a new video coming out next Thursday night. It's called my top 37 Pokemon. <laughs> top 37. <laughs> Literally, it's a great number. It's fantastic. <laughs> so let us know in the comments your top 37 favorite Pokemon. <laughs> oh my god. Oh All right, you want to take Bill? Yeah, I got you. I got you. All right, beautiful, beautiful. Hiya, I'm a Pokemon. You know I'm not. Call me Bill. <laughs> I'm a true it's blue Pokemaniac. Hey, what's that skeptical look? I'm not Josh, new lady. Or man. I screwed up an experiment and got combined with a Pokemon. He so, called me pal. He called you lady. Yeah, he said lady. That's mad funny. Wait till I get inside the teleporter. And when I do, go to my PC and run the cell separation. Yo, what is he, a Zygarde? Dude, this was literally always like the most like trippy thing for me when I was a kid. Like this man literally went from a Clefairy to a human. <laughs> Yo, and they like never, they never bring this up again. How he literally like transformed himself. Like they never bring it up again. It's so random too. Like wh why? Why? I don't know, it's just a cool development. And do you know what's Yo, interesting? What's interesting? What if, in the left door, the actual Bill is just standing there, fine. Right? And like, then the right one is empty. And the Clefairy is just a random Clefairy. He didn't actually transform, he just walked out of the door. So right now there's a Clefairy just hanging out in the right door? Yeah. Is he dead? Uh, may may maybe. He might be. Is, is his head cut off? Yeah, yeah. He, is, he, is he's, he... he's just legs now. So inside, there's like a bloody mess in there right now. Yeah, you want to go in and check? I kind of want to eat the dead Clefairy. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't. I want to no 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 that Clefairy. <laughs> so wait, before you start reading again, what I like to do when I play through Gen One, which is all the fucking time, whenever <laughs> Bill transforms back to a human, I like to give him a Southern accent. So if you could do that, that would be greatly appreciated. I can't do a southern accent, even though I'm from the well. I'm I'm from the north. I'm from Chicago, but you can you can do this. I live in the south. I I don't know, man. You can do this. Just go deep into your Tennessee roots. Yeehaw! Thanks, lady. I owe you one. Did you come to see my Pokemon collection? That's not. I I can't do accents. Dude, that was terrible. I can't. I can't, man. I <laughs> I can't do it, man. <laughs> you do right, it. You do it. I can't do it. We got the SS ticket. Oh, I thought you were gonna do it. Got excited what? there. I thought, I thought you were going to do, do a, a southern accent. No, I couldn't steal your thunder. I don't want to embarrass you on your own channel. Dude, I'm already embarrassed. I can't. Boy, there's, it's there's okay. No, there's no redeeming myself from this. I have I have disgraced my Tennessean origins. Is that a word? Is that a word? No, I don't think so. Tennessean? Tennessean, yeah. It's kind of wild. Well, it's a little bit wild, wild, a little bit wild. But you know what the good thing is? Now we can go battle Misty, right? Oh, we can. You're right. Yes. Now, what's really cool is that after we battle Misty, we have a lot of opportunities to get some new encounters. Yep. What I would recommend that we do, though, is definitely go pick up some medicine, because like my mama always says, it's better to be safe than to be sorry. You picking yep. up what I'm putting down? I'm picking it up. You better pick it up. I mean, I don't know if you're able to pick it up with your spider arms and legs, but <laughs> you, should be able to, you should be able to get it at least off the ground a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I feel like, um, I feel like I'm like a claw machine. Like a claw machine type of spider. Wait, do we get the bike? We don't get the bike yet. You gotta get the bike voucher first and you get that in Vermilion City. Boy, if we could get the bike, don't you think I would have told you that by now? I thought you forgot about it. I'm Where's... the Gen 1 master, boy. Hey, asshole, how you doing? How are the kids? All right. See, I feel like I'm a claw machine. Got like eight, eight legs, eight claws. Dude, spiders are so cool. I hate spiders so much. Why do you hate your own anatomy? That doesn't even I, make any sense. I can't, I can't stand spiders. Listen. Be a spider, embrace it. Kids, kids, this is a life lesson for all of you. If you're a spider, just come to terms with it, you know? 
Like, I'm an iguana. You don't see me saying, oh, hey, I'm not an iguana. I hate iguanas. Hey, Shawnee! Sean doesn't even guy. watch these videos, man. It makes me sad. Dude, Sean hates that we're soloing together. He hates it. Sean, Sean was in my stream last night, and he said, I hate Asteroid, but I love Frank. That makes sense. I, I feel that on a spiritual level. And, and I was just like, what's the difference? See, like, I hate Vinny, and I love Teresa, so... <laughs> 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 yeah, we're gonna be like 20 episodes deep and I'm gonna be like, wait, so like, remember that one episode <laughs> where I was telling myself to slap my own ass or you can slap it for me? Yeah, like, let me reevaluate that. <laughs> oh my god. I, I don't understand how that never happens to you. Like, never happens to you from the standpoint of like, you say something and it marinates and you're like, let me, let me reevaluate this. Usually I'll, I'll like correct myself on the spot. Like, if uh, I know I said something dumb or like even, like usually what happens if I say something and I don't, I don't realize... I, uh, I stand corrected. I don't correct myself until after I'm in post and I'm editing it. Gotcha. Like, I'll either cut it out or I'll just put some text that says, you know, gotcha. whatever. Yeah, like, sometimes I'll just go crazy and do these crazy ramblings, and then I'll think of, like, I value my ramblings to make sense when they really shouldn't, you know? Yeah. Like, if I'm rambling about something and I say something and then I'll think about it and be like, hmm, I could have explained that better. Let me go back. But that's ten minutes ago. No one gives a fuck about ten minutes ago. <laughs> We're in the age of fast knowledge, quick with it, quick edits, quick everything. My name's Vinny, hi, I have a size nine shoe, I live in New York, and I have brown hair. Three fun facts, asteroid, go. Uh, 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 I'm a spider. You're a spider, we all knew that, Yes, Good. yes, I, I breathe on a daily basis. Wow, that's a fun fact, we didn't know that. Dude, oh, that's no, doing nothing. very fun, very fun. And also, I have a dead body in my closet, what? <laughs> Who said that? Is it a Clefairy with its head cut off? <laughs> Yo, you better be careful, man. You might Bill. have the SWAT team showing up. Bill, stop moving around in there. If he's dead, how is he moving? <laughs> <laughs> Don't just do a weird laugh and not explain yourself. <laughs> We're going to be 20 minutes from now. Asteroid's going to go, yeah, so like, I know I said that I don't go back and reevaluate things. Remember when I said I had a dead body? Nah, I was playing. I was playing, my dudes. Just a prank, bro. Just a prank, bro, you know? Prank, I mean, bro. I know you're dead and everything, Phil, but what are you gonna do? You're a fucking asshole, huh? I have Bill and I have his Clefairy in the same closet. Damn, son. That's I was saying closet. Phil, I need you to were saying Bill. That. I mean, uh, I mean, I mean, drawer. Ah, so it's a you really big drawer. No, no, I, I didn't chop him up. It's just a really big drawer. Oh, really? Yeah, like an could, abnormal sized drawer. Could me and my fat ass fit in it? Probably not. Ah. Uh, because there's a Clefairy and a dead body inside. I mean, I'm down, to cut, I'm down to cuddle with a corpse and a, <laughs> and a clefairy with a head cut off. All right, Misty, hi. How are you? <laughs> Please change the subject. Hi, you're a new face. Only those trainers who have a policy about Pokemon can turn pro. What is your approach when you catch and train Pokemon? My policy is an all-out offensive with water-type Pokemon. Even though this is randomized, so I might not have water-type Pokemon. Damn, Misty! Damn. Ooh, those she legs, got a new Those legs, though. Oh, my God, a Raichu. Okay, okay, I can deal with a uh, with a Raichu. Yo, doesn't Raichu Sprite look like he's about to box? No, 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 he looks like he's eating a cheeseburger, but without the cheeseburger. Oh my god, can you please edit a cheeseburger into his hands right now? You, you just want me to do a lot of work, don't you? No, 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 listen, 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 listen. <laughs> if this man is eating a cheeseburger right now, we will break 5,000 likes. It'll happen. We I gotta do this. All right, if there's a cheeseburger in that in that mouth of right shoes, then we better hit we better hit 5K. <laughs> we better hit 5K, my dudes. Don't jit me. I was promised 5,000 likes. He was promised. We all promised him. Me, the Canto Kids, and the Lapras <laughs> Legion, aka the Frankfurters. We all promised this man to to hit 5,000 likes if that right shoe is eating a cheeseburger. Yo, I'm battling Taco. I'm scared. Don't kill him. Oh, it's Taco versus the burrito. I just realized. Oh my God, no! Look out this for is, um. Okay, you're this fine. is dark. Yo, we just slaughtered Misty. Obviously, that taco wasn't hard enough. You know what's weird? Probably like, a soft we, shell we're taco. like, we're like absurdly over leveled for this stage of the game, but we really did not do, we didn't do any grinding at all, and we only battled all of the trainers possible. Yeah, and on top of that, legendaries gain EXP slower. Yeah. So we we are like almost at a disadvantage despite being a level thirty. It's pretty wild, and we just learned focus punch. Wow. It's powerful. Oh yeah, by the way, the uh, the item that you missed, back up there on route, whatever that was. Yeah, what'd you um, get? It was a TM, and it was Tail Whip. Ooh, I want to go get that TM. 
Are you able to get it, or can you literally? I have not... to wait. I have to wait till we get cut now, which is after the SSN. So I will, uh... guys. Remind me in every episode from now till then to go back and get that item because you never know. It could be like earthquake or something. Yeah, it could. It could. All right, so we are at 30 minutes flat, right? I got safeguard. And we just defeated Misty. So I think to wrap this episode up, tie it with a bow, we should come over here, battle the Team Rocket Grunt, and then get an encounter, and then we could wrap up this episode. All right, all right. Sounds like a plan. All right, that sounds good with you. So we're going to come over here. We're going to battle this guy. <clears throat> I feel burp coming on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, oh! Okay, that that was See, decent. That was I, I rated a powerful uh, yeah. 7 out of 10. I was going to say 7 out of 10. Like, this man's always bullying me for having, like, little pipsqueak burps, but I'm <laughs> trying, man. All right? All right? All right? <clears throat> all right? Can I do all it? Right? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> <clears throat> hey, stay out. It's not your yard. Huh? Me? I'm an innocent bystander. Don't you believe me? Yeah. In his whole Team As Rocket he's outfit. Us. His whole Team Rocket attire and costume. But, yeah, he's an innocent bystander. I'm this an innocent man. bystander, and he throws a Pokeball at us. Yo, they both have some power. Hypno and Crobat, wow. calm down. Now, the good thing... I did not mean to go for Barrage, but that's fine. We can go for Barrage. Mm. Do you believe in hypnotism in real life? Uh... Like, do you believe that you could be hypnotized? I, th I think so. I think so, maybe. Yeah, See, I, I believe in it to the fullest. I really do. I mean, I haven't really done much much research on it, so I really don't know much about it, but... Yeah, like, I'm, I'm no expert. I'm just a girl named Teresa, but, like, me personally, like, I would be so down to be hypnotized. There was actually, yo, yo, fun story with Asteroid. One of my birthday parties, I was, like, turning seven or eight or whatever. We so, had this so, magician. So last year? So last yeah, year? Yeah, like, like, yesterday. We had this magician. <laughs> Shot. Dead. <laughs> Went in the closet with Phil and fucking Clefairy. Continue, sorry. <laughs> So we had a magician come to the house and like do a show and stuff. Wait, the magician came to the house. Yes. On the house? No. no yes. Yes. <laughs> on the house, Vinny. Okay, on, the, on. on the house. So. Anyways, anyways, he came to the house right, and he put on the show. Now I was up there as a volunteer because I was the birthday boy. Obviously, I was special that day. I'm not. I'm not special any other day, but I was special that day. So, the trick was that he had me. I think he had me standing up. And he hypnotized me into... Metagross! Metagross! He hypnotized me to lie down on this... He wanted me to lie down on this table, right? Okay. Instead of lying down on the table, I laid down, I laid down on the floor. Okay. And I embarrassed myself, that was it. You know, you gotta stop doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always waiting for this. I'm like, I thought you were gonna be like, and then he turned me into a table! <laughs> But instead, you're just like, yeah, I laid on the ground, and then I was a spider, and I accidentally slinged a web from my anus. <laughs> oh my god. What is life? <laughs> hey, I never said it was a good story. Listen, man. I said it was a waste, fun story. Don't waste my time like that, all right? <laughs> what TM did you get? Don't waste my time like that. Uh, I don't know. I think you have to come in here and talk to the... Oh no, do we actually have the TM already? Yeah, I got... Wait. Yeah, no, we gotta talk to the... This guy should give us the TM. Oh, okay. Oh, no, no, we gotta re-talk to the... Oh no, wait, what the hell? Wait, what, do we, what do we do? What do we do? Usually he gives you a TM. I forgot what's lost. I decided to teach Diglett how to dig. Team Rocket must go. Are you sure you didn't? Wait. I'm pretty sure I didn't get it. Oh no, it was Kinesis. Because I have two Kinesises now. Wait, wait. Actually, let me check. Let me check. It might. That's weird. Why would I get the same? You got counter. Did I? Right? Right there. Oh, is that 50? Oh, wait, wait, no, it's not... Well, the number's 28, right? Oh, so you got stockpile. I got stockpile, yeah. Gotcha, okay, that makes sense, that makes sense. Alright, alright. Yeah, because I think in the old games, you would talk to him again. <coughs> Excuse me. And then, he would give you dig. That's why I was so determined to talk to this man. Alright, so where we do we do get now, this encounter? So come south of uh, Cerulean, and here we are in Route 5, and now we can get a new encounter. Now, I know we're going to both forget again, oh, but whose shoot. encounter is this? Um, our last encounter was Wish Cash and Apom, so I think it's mine. Yeah. Is it? Because I think I got the Apom second, right? Oh, I don't remember. Why don't we write this down ever? I mean... I'm trying to think. Wait. The one wait, before always... was Hariyama and Murkrow. And before that was what? Bellossom and Why Not. And before that was what? Glalie and Starmie. And before that was what? Drowsy and Beautifly. And before that was what? 
When did we get the dust tox? I remember I got the dust tox second, then we'll just go in order from there. Okay, you got the dust tox in Viridian Forest. Okay, what was our next encounter? Then we got Combuskin and Flaffy, which... <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Rest in peace. Okay, so let me check, let me check. Dust tox, okay. you said you got it first? Yes. No, no, I got dust tox second. You got your Pokemon, then I got dust tox. Okay, that means... Okay. So that's me, 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 me. It's you, it's you. Wait, no, is it? Me. Keep in mind, our static encounter wasn't... Of a first and second, we did that together. So from the dust docks and the other Pokemon, then we go back and forth. Wait, what was our static encounter? It was the drowsy, Unifly right? Fly and the drowsy. First, first, first. Okay, then it's me. You sure? Yeah, because I think you got the Hariyama first. Then, or no, no, I got the heart. Wait, I got the wait. Did I get Hariyama? I don't even know. I think it's me though. <laughs> no, I'm you know what? I think I did. No, I did get Wish Cash first. You did? It, it makes sense. Yeah. Because okay. I remember then you got the A-Palm and you were upset about it, and I already had caught the Wish Cash. Okay, so where, why, oh, right here. You have to jump down this ledge. Oh my god, you are literally a lost puppy in this game. It's Boy, so last time I played Gen 1 was last summer, and it, it wasn't That's this crazy. game. That's crazy. Alright, All right. let's see what you're gonna get. Hopefully we get something good to end this powerful episode off. Okay. Okay. I'll, I'll take it. I'll take Not it. Wait, now wait, is that that's a new pair, right? That's a normal type. That is a normal type, so we can use it. If I get something that's not a bug, water, grass, or psychic. Right? <gasps> oh, thank goodness, Taco! You didn't I'll kill it! Oh! Yo! <sighs> Dude, I'll have you know, I almost killed this thing. Don't kill it because I just got a Volpix and this is a usable pair. Okay, alright. Now, the good. thing is, I'm gonna need a Firestone to evolve her. Yes. Now, can I get a Firestone still at the department store or is it going to be randomized? I don't think it's randomized. I think I think you'll be able to get one. Okay, that's good. I because got it. Nine tails is power. Good shit. Let's go, baby. Is this All route right. five? This is route five. Yes. Now I don't know if I'm gonna be able to catch this thing without weakening it. Do you think this thing could eat up a barrage? I don't know. I mean, th this thing barely took a took a fury attack. Well, we don't need to do oh. anything because we caught it. Yo, that's a new pair. Wait, you know what? I'm gonna name her. What? I have the perfect name. Can you guess? Can you guess? I don't know. Oh, okay. wait, what? No. The, there, there, re, there, That's not how you spell Teresa. Yes, it is. Is it? I think so. Let me look it up. <laughs> the, the Ressa? I think it's Theresa like that. That's how you spell it, right? I don't think, I, if yeah. so, if so, that's true. Oh, wait, no. Most people spell it T-E-R-E-S-A. Okay, my bad, my bad. Okay, hold on. What do Can I name a Loudred? Uh should I, should, I, should I name it Dominic because he's loud and obnoxious? Yes, please. <laughs> Alright, I got Teresa over here. Represent. Mm. Yo, I just caught myself. Alright, Do Dominic, welcome to the team. Shadow Welcome Tank to the team. Prevents the foe from escaping. That's actually really good. You could you could like use that for it to your advantage because if someone tries to run or if, like a wild Pokemon or like a legendary <coughs> oh, tries to run. If we find a Lugia! If you find a Lugia, exactly. Because Lugia is usually nature. whirlwind, and that's not going to be okay with me. We got Wait, Limber. It's got, got Ember, Tail Whip, and Warp, and Roar. War? It's got Roar. Pound, Yo, Uproar, Astonishing new, Howl. We just got a new encounter. I'm very excited. New team Yo. members, baby. All right, so this was a nice 40-minute episode. I'm feeling this. This was a great episode. Heck yeah. So we are going to wrap the episode up here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode... Hit that like button, leave a comment, make sure you're subscribed Boom. to both of us, because as you guys know, we alternate. The next episode will be up on my channel. And with yep. that, my dudes, thank you so much for watching. And in the next episode, we're going to go through this underground path right here and make our way to Vermilion City. Asteroid, any final words? I think that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for 6,000 subscribers. Yes, and, and thank you guys for 28,000 subscribers. You guys are the best. I love you guys so much. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys over on Vinny's channel. See you guys on my channel. Peace. Peace. Oh, that felt good to do. That felt real good to do. <laughs>